Hey, what's going on YouTube? I was uh, talking to some friends about some projects that I've been doing around the house lately and uh, I've been suggested that I start a YouTube channel. So here it goes. Let's talk about uh, this project that I just did. I've always wanted hot and cold water in the garage. So with the addition of a uh, bathroom I just put in the basement, I have hot water now on this side of the house and was able to easily plumb up and create this mixing valve here to have hot or cold water in my garage. So I'll go through the setup with you. Hot, cold, it's the mixing valve I built here. These are female hose thread to female iron thread to a three quarter inch fitting, three quarter inch elbow, three quarter inch close fitting, three quarter inch T, doubled on this side. Wasn't able to put the hot water in until I saw how big the tool was, marked the wall, drilled the hole, ran the pipe. I have it come down here to a three quarter inch male iron pipe to three quarter inch male hose thread. And that goes to this diverter valve with two separate on it two separate uh, outputs. The first side goes up to my regular hose here, and I can throw hot, cold on, mix it, you know, a little more hot, a little more cold, whatever I need. This valve here powers the hose. This one goes to something that I've wanted to do for a very long time, which is a in-house built pressure washer. The pressure washer here is mounted to the wall with two screws and my workshop's uh, right over there to be able to grab a screwdriver or whatever I need. I have a 50 foot hose coming in uh, from Amazon. I only paid $20 for it. Uh, if you ever buy from Amazon, make sure you check out the pre-owned or refurbished section before you buy something. The hose originally was like $32. I'm paying 20 bucks. And then with Prime, obviously free shipping. So you have the water hose here, comes around under the unit into the inlet. The power, I have this uh, long power strip here, goes right to the uh, GFI, to the back of the unit. All my connectors are on top, soap, whatever. If I wanna use it, everything's all set up, everything's ready to go. All I have to do is just turn the water on down here, flip the power on, and it is ready to go. Um, once I have the 50 foot hose, I think I'll have the 50 mounted to the unit and use the 25 as uh, if I need to get you know further uh, around the house or whatever. If I get a second 50 foot hose, I will be able to reach pretty much anywhere on my property with the 125 feet of hose. Uh, these zip ties here hold the hose so it doesn't pull in the back. You know, we don't want to rip that or break the brass fittings or anything like that or the um, die cast pump housing. But it's all set. Hit the power. Turn the, the GFI on. Then hit the power. It's all pressurized, ready to go. Um, great for doing cars, and you don't have to think about any setup, especially with the longer hose. It's just like having a regular hose outside. So uh, let me go in the basement. I'll show you how the uh, plumbing for the hot and the cold water ended up coming out. All right, guys, down here we have the hot and the cold. This is the other side of the garage. You can see where the cold is. There's that wire that was a sprinkler wire uh, that went to a sprinkler unit that's in the garage, the control box. I ended up removing that because I drilled through that wire uh, when I put in a second hole to do redo the uh, cold water. The sprinkler box ended up getting moved to a different location. I have a Wi-Fi controller box, so it doesn't really need to be visible at all. Uh, all right, so we got cold, hot. The cold water comes over to this shark bike fitting, to a uh, bowl valve, and then my meter is down here. The hot runs across the basement to a... Uh, my ball valve here to shut it off and then 
behind this wall, this is a bathroom that was built with the uh, up flush pump and shower, all that, all that goodies. So cold water comes across to that T. I'm sorry, the hot water comes across to that T and uh, that going up goes to my hot water tank, going down goes to everything in the bathroom. So having the hot water on this side of the house, all it took was 20 feet of pipe, a couple of ball valves, a couple of fittings, and uh, now I got hot water outside. The cold water, I could have left it alone, but I wanted to have the same valve for both the hot and the cold. And I didn't like this setup here. The original setup was a soldered on collar here, another soldered on collar here, and then another soldered on collar there. I wanted to get rid of all that. I just went to the shark bite. Simple, I have it. I have two or three shark bites in the house right now. Um, they've been in for three years. I haven't had any issues whatsoever. Uh, so I would I would recommend them. I, I think they're fine. I believe also, according to code, they can go behind walls. Don't quote me on that, but um, they're leak free, they're fine. Then they can connect everything, copper to PEX, PEX to PEX. You know, whatever you have, it, it works. If uh, you guys wanted to see again, that going up goes to the water heater, going down, ball valve for the bathroom, if any work needs to be done in the bathroom, there's all the venting for the bathroom. And uh, here is actually the sprinkler wire. Originally went that way to where it was cut. Now it comes back this way. I had to join it. Um, when I first moved the box to the garage, but now I have one of these Wi-Fi controller boxes. This is the Orbit Beehive. I think it's six zone. Uh, yeah, I should, I should be able to tell right here. Eight zone, eight zones. You can have a water sensor, which I have the rain sensor on, but it really doesn't do anything anymore because of the fact that um, it is Wi-Fi. It, it checks out the forecast, it goes through um, when it's going to rain or how much it did rain in the past or whatever. And it will, it will, uh, you know, decide whether or not it needs to water your lawn. You have to give it a lot of specs, what kind of soil you have, what the um, sunlight's like, drainage, hills, how many sprinkler heads, all that kind of stuff. Um, if you'd like to see another video, like, comment, subscribe, let me know. I can do, uh, I can go into a details on the whole smart house system whatever you guys want to say thanks